the main character, the person who the story revolves around as everyone watches, the protagonist who overcomes obstacles to ultimately always succeed, the hero who saves the day time and time again. But behind every main character, in a movie, a show, or a novel, there is always one thing. Someone who writes the story. Although there is nothing wrong with going through life with main character energy, I think that it is important not to forget that you are not just a character, you are the author. So in this video, I'm gonna go over three key steps that you can start doing in order to take charge of your life's trajectory and become the creator of your own story. If you wander aimlessly through life, then there is no way in knowing where you'll end up. So the first thing you want to do is to set clear intentions. Clarify what you're trying to achieve, what matters to you, and how you define success. A couple of exercises that can help with this are 1. Journaling using the prompt My Ideal Day, which essentially is you writing out what a day in your ideal life would look like from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. A second exercise is visualization meditation. I will link down below my favorite guided meditations that are geared towards visualization. For an exercise like this, all you do is meditate and simply envision the life that you want to live. There's a lot of success stories behind this from very successful people, one of them being Arnold Schwarzenegger. He used to lie in bed visualizing himself on stage winning awards for his muscles, I, my mind is slipping on bodybuilding. Yeah, bodybuilding. <laughs> and I think his story is one of many for the power of visualization. And personally, I'm a huge believer in that kind of stuff. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button and become a voyager and join me on this journey of personal development and creative expression. The second thing that you absolutely have to do is take action. Don't get me wrong. I love me some planning. I am addicted to stationery and I have so many planners and I write down my goals. I set intentions. I do visualization, but none of that matters if I don't take action. Your dreams will just stay in your imagination unless you do something about it. So start setting your goals and actually take steps towards them. If you have no idea how to set goals in a way that you're actually going to achieve them, then I recommend the book, The 12 Week Year by Brian Moran and Michael Lennington. It's filled with all sorts of strategies and whatnot. It's a good book. I just finished it on Audible. And speaking of Audible and books, that brings me to the third thing that you should do, which is expand your knowledge. No matter what it is you're trying to achieve, there is probably something that you need to learn in order to achieve it. And no matter what it is you're trying to learn, there's probably been a book written on the topic by an expert in the field. Personally, I like to listen to audible books. I like to put in my earphones and go for a nice long walk while I listen to something. That is my favorite way to consume information at the moment, but it doesn't just have to be audiobooks. It can be podcasts, it can be Skillshare videos, it can be YouTube videos, anything that educates you and doesn't just solely entertain you. I think that the beauty of the information age that we are currently in is that you can kind of have a mentor without actually having a real life mentor just because of all the information that is available to you. So you might as well take advantage of it. The point is to never stop learning. The moment you stop learning, you stop growing as a person. So embrace continuous learning so that you can continuously acquire new tools and ideas to help you achieve the life that you want to live. And with that, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye.